Mars is not the dry, arid planet that we thought of in the past. We are not alone. It's a tagline to many movies, but NASA has taken another small step towards proving it to be an indisputable truth. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. In this installment, we're counting down 10 crucial facts you should know about the Mars liquid water discovery. Lift off. Number 10. What was the discovery? After years of research and experimentation, scientists confirmed the presence of liquid water on the surface of present-day Mars at the end of September 2015. Under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars. It had long been assumed that Mars retains a certain amount of water within itself, in its ice and soil, and there are numerous arguments for the existence of liquid water in its history. However, in 2015, scientists were able to conclusively say that flowing water is a modern-day reality. Naturally, the advance further fueled speculation that Mars could host some form of life. Number 9. Where did this water come from? The discovery centers on a series of dark streaks visible on the planet's surface, which disappear and reappear with the seasons. The streaks, dubbed Recurring Slope Lineae, or RSL, are now thought to be the product of a surface flow of extremely salty brine, which evaporates and leaves behind a salty deposit. However, the origin of that liquid is still unknown. Basic reasoning says that it either comes from above, from a near-surface atmosphere much more humid than first thought, or from below, from underground stores of water frozen during winter, thawed during summer, and seeping to the surface. Number 8. Is Mars similar to Earth? The very fact that Mars has an axial tilt of 25.2 degrees and is therefore subject to seasons is evidence that it is similar to Earth. The planet is 50% farther from the sun than us, but it does have polar ice caps, and there's evidence that water has played a part in its geological evolution, although it's not believed to have had as predominant a role as it has on Earth. In terms of temperature, Mars is a lot colder than our planet, averaging around minus 67 degrees Fahrenheit and ranging between minus 207 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the location and season. And Martian atmospheric pressure is considerably lower than Earth's. The conditions on Mars may be similar to those of an early Earth, so any advance made in the search for Martian life could also impact the understanding of history of life on our own planet. Number 7. Has there been life on Mars? To date, there is no conclusive evidence showing that Mars has ever been inhabited. However, as scientific knowledge surrounding the planet grows, there is an increasing belief that Mars was once, at least, habitable. In 1996, much scientific and media hysteria surrounded the discovery of a Martian meteorite in Antarctica, within which some scientists claimed was fossilized proof of past life on Mars. Those claims have since been brought into question, but recent surveys indicate that around three-quarters of the space research community believes that life has existed on Mars at some point in history. Number 6. Is there currently life on Mars? Is there life on Mars? Again, to date, there's no conclusive evidence that life as we know it exists on Mars currently. The recent discoveries surrounding surface water further enhance the possibility of life, but living proof is still not available. Future missions are likely to focus beneath the surface of the planet, as it's widely believed to be possible that life could exist within Mars's extremely harsh radioactive surface conditions. So far, small areas a few meters underground have been briefly explored, but there's a long-term goal to go deeper into the planet's subsurface. Number 5. Can NASA explore the water? Until now, recurring slope lineae research has been conducted from afar, with images provided by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Although there currently exist rover machines on the surface of Mars collecting data, NASA has no immediate plans to get closer to the salty deposits. The main reason being that they fear cross-contamination. Current machines have not been baked or sterilized and subsequently may still carry Earth microbes, which might present a toxic danger to Martian water. 
there isn't a scheduled launch to Mars in the near future that will be any cleaner, meaning it could be decades before contact is actually made with the water. Number 4. When will humans be able to go to Mars? According to NASA, the capabilities to send human beings to Mars should emerge by the 2030s. Before then, by 2025, it's hoped that humans will have been sent to an asteroid. In general, however, the space agency is placing optimum importance upon the eventual goal of human exploration on Mars. The fleet of surface rovers and robotic spacecraft that have already been sent are helping experts build an extensive understanding of Martian conditions. That understanding provides a basis for technological advancement on Earth, aiming to protect future astronauts and eventually enabling them to live on, work, and report from the planet. Number 3. Have there been any other recent planetary discoveries? 2015 has proven an especially successful year in terms of space exploration. In July, the discovery of Kepler 452b, around 1400 light years away from us, was announced. It's already been dubbed Earth 2.0 because of the striking similarities it shares with our own planet, with scientists believing that further research could provide us with valuable knowledge concerning our future. Kepler 452b orbits a host star that's 1.5 billion years older than our own Sun. It's thought that the exoplanet is entering into a runaway greenhouse phase of its climate history, the like of which the Earth will inevitably undergo around a billion years from now. Number 2. Who is funding these explorations? NASA has been funding extensive exploration of Mars ever since the Mariner missions in the mid-60s, and the search for habitability on the planet is now a primary objective. 21st century efforts began with the $297 million 2001 Mars Odyssey orbiting mission. Twin rovers Spirit and Opportunity were then launched in 2003, at an initial cost of $820 million. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter followed, costing a further $720 million. Next, the Mars Science Laboratory mission landed the Curiosity rover within a $2.5 billion budget. In the near future, NASA is set to fund the $425 million InSight lander mission in 2016 and conduct a much-anticipated Mars 2020 mission despite the agency apparently being faced with enforced budget constraints. Number 1. What does this mean for life on Mars? It isn't just NASA who has an interest in Mars exploration. The European Space Agency has had the Mars Express Orbiter recording data for over a decade. And after launching in 2013, the Indian Space Research Organization became the first ever agency to successfully reach Mars on its first attempt. For some, the Red Planet is becoming the basis for a modern-day space race. Evidence of flowing water is only going to inspire further investigation into this unknown. The amount of money being pushed into Mars exploration is huge, in large part because any discovery of non-terrestrial life is likely to be one of the biggest advances in scientific history. Did these facts get you thinking? To vote for which news story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com suggest. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top 10s published every week. Is there life on